Hi, and welcome to Section 5, where we will build out the pieces of our application to display recipe and user details. In the previous section, we added an event binding system to our client side components, and we learned how to extend objects using Lodash. In this section, we will start by refactoring some existing API code to use Lodash for escaping and trimming input strings, and we'll add these functions to our client side code as well. We will also build out templates to display recipe details when a card is interacted with and improve our existing templates to truncate recipe details. We'll wrap up the section by adding more user data to our application and adding some markup to display that user data. We'll accomplish these tasks using methods introduced in the Lodash string API. By the end of this section, we should have interactive recipe cards for our application. Now let's move on to the first video of this section that deals with escaping, trimming, and padding strings using Lodash. By the end of this video, you will have learned several new Lodash string methods, and you will have built the base to import Lodash methods into a template. In this video, we will refactor our API and client-side code for searching and filtering recipes and use Lodash to properly escape the input. We'll also refactor several sections of this code to use Lodash's trim method. We'll then add code to our components to allow Lodash methods to be called from templates. To wrap up this section, we will add string padding to our recipe card template. To follow along with this video, first go to your recipes API repo and run git checkout video-5-1. In a separate console window, go to the recipes client repo and also run git checkout video-5-1. Once that is complete, from the recipes client repo, run npm run dev to track source file changes. Once you've updated your repos in the Recipes API repo, open app slash routes slash recipes slash index.js. We've added basic search functionality to our API, but we missed an important step in creating our search. Since our search terms are used in a regular expression, we want to escape characters that are reserved for expressions. Trying to write an expression to test for expression characters is certainly error prone, and it is also a function that would probably need to exist for multiple modules in your application. Thankfully, Lodash provides a method to accomplish this in its string API, aptly named escape regex. Go to the line where the regular expression object is created and wrap the queue variable with a call to escape regex. Let's not stop with only that update. Lodash also has methods to trim strings, including trim, trim left, and trim right. The benefit of these methods as opposed to their native counterparts is that all three methods take an optional second parameter indicating the characters that you want trimmed. It will default to trimming whitespace, but if you use the second parameter, you can trim other characters from a string. We are going to use trim to wrap rec.query.q, and we can also replace the call to string.prototype.trim on line 52 with the lodash trim method. Once you've saved the recipe route file from the command line in your recipes API repo, run npm run start. This will start the express API server for us to test. However, before we test, we'll make some changes in our recipes client repo. We also need to add an escape to our filter input component, otherwise entering regular expression characters in your filter will cause a JavaScript runtime error. First, let's open up app slash components slash filters slash input slash index.js in your code editor. At the top of the file, after the other calls to require, add requires for the string methods escape regex and trim, setting the module imports to variables of the same name. We'll add these to the filter items method where we assign input.value to the text variable. Wrap input.value with a call to trim and then wrap that with another call to escape regex. This will ensure that your text input does not cause any runtime errors if it includes reserved regular expression characters. Also, we can refactor the call to the native string trim in filter item to use the lodash trim method. While using the lodash trim instead of a native trim method may not have any perceivable difference in output, it is nice to have access to string utilities that are tested and work consistently in all browsers. Once you save the filter input component, let's turn our attention to templates for a moment. We currently have the ability to render data to a template using Lodash, but more complex templates need to be able to run JavaScript and call Lodash methods. Since we include all our Lodash modules using CommonJS requires, they are not available at runtime in a compiled template. However, Lodash provides the ability to import variables and functions into a template when it is compiled using a settings object. We're going to enhance our base component to check for methods that our component wants to pass into a template and compile the component's template with those methods available. First, open up app slash components slash base slash index in your editor and go to the base component constructor. 
The constructor currently assigns a compiled template to this.template, but does not allow any settings to be passed to the lodash template method. Let's refactor this by first creating a settings variable set to an empty object. Then, check if a template imports property is set for the component. If it exists, set the settings.import object property to this.template imports. After that check, create the template, passing the settings object as the second parameter to template. Now we have the ability to set functions in our component that can be passed to a template, allowing for more complex template creation. To try this new feature out, open up app slash components slash recipe slash card slash index.js. We'll require one more lodash method, pad, which will take a string and a length parameter and pad the string with the character until reaching the specified length. Like trim, the pad method also has pad left and pad right variants and can also take a parameter specifying what character to use in the padding. We are going to put pad to a pretty simple use here, to provide the spacing in our template before the user's username. In the assignment of recipe card.prototype, create a template imports object. The object will have one property, pad, and the value of that object will be the lodash pad method required above. After saving the recipe card component, open up its template at app slash components slash recipe slash card slash template dot html. We're going to replace the current post a by string with a call to pad. Since the string is nine characters long, we'll pass 10 as our second parameter, so a single space is always guaranteed. While this particular example is somewhat anecdotal, you could perhaps see a circumstance with arbitrary localized strings of various lengths that need to be included in a template with padding. Now that we've made this change, we have the first sample of including a Lodash function inside a template that is compiled using Lodash. Once you save the template for the recipe card, run npm run start from the command line within your recipes client repo and open up http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 9000 in your browser. You'll see the posted by string properly padded, but more importantly, you'll be able to use strings in the filter and search inputs without causing any runtime errors in the JavaScript. Try entering some regular expression characters into both. You should be able to see the cards disappear, since no terms match those characters, but your browser's console should remain clear. The same should also be true of the console running the Express API application. In this video, we have learned several new Lodash string methods for escaping strings to use in regular expressions, and for trimming and padding strings. We added the ability to import Lodash methods into our templates using the template settings parameter that Lodash template provides. We also tested out the use of Lodash methods in a template while using the pad method to format text for the recipe card.